What does privacy by design and default mean under GDPR? A question that puzzles many. In the digital age, privacy is a precious commodity. As we've discussed in previous modules, GDPR introduces the concept of privacy by design and default. This is not just a fancy term, it's a fundamental shift in how we handle and protect personal data. Privacy by design is all about integrating data protection into the very fabric of your processing activities. It's about considering privacy from the get-go, from the moment you start designing a new system, process or service. It's about weaving data protection into the DNA of your operations rather than bolting it on as an afterthought. Now what does by default mean? It means that the strictest privacy settings should apply by default without requiring any action from the individual. It means that only necessary data should be processed and only for the specific purpose at hand. It means that by default you don't hold on to data for longer than necessary and you don't disclose it to others without a valid reason. Why is this approach important? Because it puts the individual at the heart of data protection. It's about respecting their privacy, their choices and their rights. It's about building trust, promoting transparency and ensuring accountability. GDPR mandates this approach, yes, but it's not just about compliance. It's about fostering a culture of privacy where data protection is not seen as a burden but as an integral part of how you operate. It's about realizing that privacy is not a barrier to innovation but a catalyst for it. And while the journey may be challenging, the rewards are significant. A robust privacy framework not only protects individuals but also enhances your reputation, builds customer trust and ultimately contributes to your bottom line. GDPR has specific requirements for personal data security, but what are they? Under GDPR, organizations are required to ensure that personal data is processed in a manner that guarantees its security. This includes protection against unauthorized or unlawful processing, accidental loss, destruction or damage. Data security isn't just about technology. It's also about the organizational measures and policies in place. Data breaches can also lead to significant harm to the individuals whose data has been compromised. Compliance with GDPR's data security requirements isn't optional. It's a legal obligation. Confidentiality, integrity and availability form the trinity of data security principles. Let's dive right into the first principle. Confidentiality. It's all about ensuring that personal data is accessible only to those who are authorized to view it. Picture it as a secret whispered only to those you trust. In the realm of data security, this means implementing stringent access controls and encryption techniques to keep prying eyes away from sensitive information. Under GDPR, maintaining confidentiality is not just a good practice, it's a legal obligation. Next up, we have integrity. This principle is about safeguarding the accuracy and completeness of data. Imagine you're building a house of cards. If even one card is misplaced or distorted, the whole structure could crumble. Similarly, unauthorized alterations to data can lead to catastrophic consequences. Therefore, measures such as checksums, digital signatures and audit trails are used to protect the integrity of data. Last but not least, we have availability. This principle ensures that authorized users have access to data when they need it. Think of it like a well-stocked supermarket. You'd expect to find some food on the shelves whenever you visit, right? In the same vein, data must be readily accessible to those who need it for legitimate purposes. This requires robust system design, frequent backups and effective disaster recovery plans. These principles aren't just theoretical, they are the cornerstones of effective data security. They work together like gears in a machine to protect personal data from threats and breaches. Confidentiality prevents unauthorized access, integrity shields data from tampering, and availability ensures data can be retrieved when required. And under GDPR, adherence to these principles is not just encouraged, it's mandated. So, in a world where data is often referred to as the new oil, these principles act as the guardians of this precious resource. They underpin the strategies and techniques used by cybersecurity professionals and play a crucial role in safeguarding individuals' privacy and rights. Technical measures form the first line of defense against unauthorized data access. Let's delve into the various methods that fortify our defenses and ensure data security. Firstly, we have encryption, a powerful tool in our arsenal. It transforms personal data into a code readable only with the correct decryption key. Imagine it as an impenetrable fortress, protecting your precious pearls of personal data from prying eyes. Next, consider secure communication channels. 
When transmitting personal data, it's akin to sending a letter through a busy market. Everyone wants a peek. Secure communication channels such as HTTPS act as your trusted courier ensuring your letter reaches its destination without being intercepted or tampered with. Another technical measure is implementing access controls. This is like the security at a private members club, checking IDs and allowing entry only to authorized individuals. Access controls limit who can view, modify or delete personal data, ensuring that only those with the right credentials can gain entry. Last, but certainly not least, regular security assessments and penetration testing are crucial. These are your health checks for your data security. They identify vulnerabilities, allowing you to fix them before they can be exploited. Think of it as a regular checkup with your doctor, catching potential issues before they become major problems. But uh, remember, these technical measures are not standalone solutions. They are part of a larger, interconnected system. Like a well-oiled machine, each component plays a critical role in safeguarding personal data. The use of encryption, secure communication channels, access controls and regular security assessments all work in tandem to fortify your data security. They are the knights in shining armor defending the castle of personal data from cyber threats. In the end, technical measures alone won't guarantee data security, but they're a crucial part of the puzzle. Think of them as the walls and towers of your castle, providing the first line of defense. But remember, even the strongest castle needs a vigilant guard, and that's where organizational measures come into play. Beyond the tech, organizations need robust policies and procedures to protect personal data. Firstly, the development and enforcement of data protection policies are crucial. These policies should clearly define how personal data is handled within the organization, setting the standards for data usage, storage and sharing. They should also feature guidelines for the appropriate response in case of a data breach. Remember, a well-drafted policy is your first line of defense in data security. Another important aspect is employee training. Employees often serve as the gatekeepers of an organization's data. Hence, it is essential that they are well informed about data protection and security best practices. Regular training sessions can help employees understand the value of the data they handle and the implications of a breach, making them active participants in the organization's data security efforts. Next, we have incident response planning and breach notification procedures. In the unfortunate event of a data breach, a well-defined incident response plan can help limit the damage and maintain control of the situation. This plan should outline the steps to take upon discovering a breach, including identifying, containing and resolving the issue. In line with the GDPR, organizations must also have a clear procedure for notifying the relevant authorities and affected individuals about the breach in a timely manner. Lastly, let's talk about data protection impact assessments, commonly known as DPIAs. These are conducted for high-risk processing activities and serve as a proactive measure to identify and mitigate potential data protection risks. DPIAs are a key tool for organizations to demonstrate their commitment to privacy by design and default. In conclusion, organizational measures play a significant role in data security. They help create a culture of data protection within the organization where everyone understands their responsibility towards safeguarding personal data. Organizational measures ensure that data security isn't just a tech issue, it's a business priority. The Data Protection Officer, or DPO, plays a vital role in GDPR compliance. This role is not just a title, but a responsibility. A DPO ensures that an organization is on the right side of data protection laws. They are the advisors, the guardians of data security, providing guidance on compliance with GDPR's data security requirements. In this capacity, the DPO becomes a point of contact for supervisory authorities and data subjects in security matters. They answer queries, address concerns and facilitate communication between parties. But their role doesn't stop there. They are also the champions of data security awareness within the organization. By promoting understanding and knowledge about data security principles, they ensure that everyone in the organization is playing their part in safeguarding personal data. In essence, the DPO is the bridge between GDPR's requirements and the organization's data security practices. Data breaches can happen even with the best security measures. How should organizations respond? When a data breach occurs, it's like a ticking time bomb. Every second counts. 
GDPR outlines specific requirements for data breach notifications that organizations must adhere to. Under the GDPR, organizations need to report a breach to their respective data protection authority within 72 hours of becoming aware of it. But what should you do immediately after discovering a breach? First, you need to assess the situation. Identify what data has been compromised, how the breach occurred, and who might be affected. This is a critical step in understanding how to contain the breach and prevent further data loss. Next comes containment. This involves taking immediate measures to stop the breach from spreading. It might mean disconnecting affected systems or changing access controls. The goal is to limit the damage as much as possible. After containment, it's time for mitigation. This is where you start fixing the issue that led to the breach. It could be patching a vulnerability, improving your access controls, or even training your staff on better data handling practices. Finally, you must notify affected individuals. If the breach poses a high risk to their rights and freedoms, they must be informed without undue delay. This allows them to take protective measures like changing passwords or monitoring their accounts for suspicious activities. Responsibility doesn't end here. You need to conduct a thorough investigation to understand the root cause of the breach and take steps to prevent such incidents in the future. And don't forget, honesty is the best policy. In the face of a data breach, transparency can go a long way in maintaining trust with your customers and stakeholders. A swift and effective response to data breaches can limit damage and maintain trust. Emerging technologies pose new challenges and opportunities for data security, artificial intelligence or AI, and the Internet of Things, or IoT, are just two examples of technologies that are revolutionizing how we handle data. On one hand, they can enhance security by automating threat detection and response. On the other hand, they also increase the attack surface, creating new vulnerabilities that cyber criminals can exploit. Securing data in the cloud is another key concern. While cloud environments offer scalability and cost efficiency, they also present unique security challenges. For instance, data in the cloud can be accessed from anywhere, which increases the risk of unauthorized access. Therefore, robust access controls and encryption are essential for protecting cloud data. As these technologies continue to evolve, so too must our approach to data security. We must be proactive, constantly updating our security measures to keep pace with technological advancements. Staying ahead of technological trends is crucial for maintaining data security in the digital age. Enhancing data security requires a proactive and comprehensive approach. One of the key practices in this regard is the regular updating and patching of security systems. Just like an unattended garden, outdated systems are a breeding ground for vulnerabilities. Consistent updates ensure that your security mechanisms are at their strongest, capable of fending off the latest threats. Cultivating a security culture within the organization is equally pivotal. This involves promoting awareness about potential risks, the importance of data security and the role each individual plays in safeguarding data. This isn't a one-off exercise, it's an ongoing process of education and reinforcement. Lastly, engaging with cybersecurity experts can provide valuable insights. These professionals stay abreast of the evolving threat landscape and their expertise can guide you in staying ahead of potential threats. Implementing these best practices can significantly strengthen an organization's data security posture. We've covered a lot of ground in this video, so let's summarize the key points. Data security is a fundamental aspect of GDPR compliance, and it requires a comprehensive approach involving technical and organizational measures. The principles of data security, confidentiality, integrity, and availability guide our efforts to protect personal data. Technical measures such as encryption, secure communication channels, access controls, and regular security assessments help prevent unauthorized access. Organizational measures, including data protection policies, employee training, incident response planning, and data protection impact assessments, ensure that the organization is prepared to respond to security incidents. The data protection officer plays a vital role in advising on, monitoring, and ensuring organization-wide awareness of data security principles. We also discussed the importance of timely response to data breaches and the impact of emerging technologies on data security.